What's up guys, Ben here from Northwest Backpacker. Today we got my favorite shelter of all time. This weighs 13 ounces. It's a two-part system, so it's super versatile, and it's an excellent option for a summertime backpacking trip. Let's make it. It just so happens this extra large U-Haul box is a perfect pattern to make your ground sheet. Be careful when cutting out your tabs because you're going to use them later. Don't forget to mark and cut the box to your height. Now that your pattern is complete, you can trace and cut your ground tarp. This is the really cool part. Using the leftover pieces from the first template, you're gonna tape them to the top and you're gonna create the template for your tarp. So this is how I made the corner tie outs. The step isn't really difficult, but if you take your time, it'll really pay off. I really recommend pre-cutting all of your tape and then you can just lay it on one at a time. Now follow the instructions that came with your grommet kit. It's going to be pretty similar to this. Anytime you want to make a tie out on a flat edge of the tarp, you should make it like this. Again, taking your time here will make the best tarp. A cool thing about doing your tie outs this way is that it gives you the options to make as many tie outs you want on any flat edge. This tarp only uses three tiles per side, but four tiles per side is also really common. Basically, the more tiles you have, the more options you have to pitch the tarp, which makes it more flexible in different weather conditions. I used mason's twine and a taut line hitch with an extra hitch to secure the stakes to the tie outs. The taut line hitch will allow you to adjust your tarp as you need it. I would say about 80% of the time when I take this shelter, I don't even set up the tarp and instead leave it close by my pack. 
I highly recommend sleeping out under the stars with nothing above you. There's nothing quite like it. You should absolutely practice pitching this tarp over and over again. You'll know you're ready to take this on a trip when you can pitch it in the dark using only a flashlight to help you. Thanks so much for watching. If you need more help, you can read my written article. There's a link down below in the description. Like the video if you liked it, and don't forget to subscribe for a new backpacking video every single week. Until next time, take it easy.